and other news. I'm coming for you, Moth Girl. Ah. Moth Stewart. Girl, I'm coming for <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's Raven again. And so I just wanted to bring you this quick, easy little DIY tutorial. So uh, a lot of these uh, products I bought a couple of months back and they had just been laying around in my bedroom. I had planned to decorate my office with these before I was terminated. And uh, I decided why not make myself feel good since yesterday I was really kind of down. And being creative helps me clear my mind. So please enjoy as I introduce you to uh, a little quick, easy, simple project that you can do with your kids, yourself, or your friends. And this would make a great drinking uh, art class project, whatever, you know, alcohol. So first you're going to need a few things. One, some cute little letters that you can find, which, uh, you know, find at any little craft store. I got everything here on the desk from Target, including the magical pointing homo stick that I'm using right now. Uh, some brushes. You can use sponge. I decided to use sponge since it helps soak up any of the extra paint, but you can as well as use a brush or your fingers even perhaps. Hey, it's arts and crafts. It's not fun unless you get dirty. Uh, paint of your choice. A little bit of glossy Mod Podge. Some Gorilla Glue. You can also use Elmer's Glue if you wish. A couple of toothpicks. And some little stars or any other type of shape that you would like. So be sure to protect your workspace. This is just an old sheet that I tore into strips and placed down. Now you see me applying a little bit of the paint directly to the star and brushing it on with the sponge. Be sure that you try to keep your brush strokes even and in the same direction. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you start off a little bit, you know, kind of wonky and painting everywhere. Just uh, before you let it dry, just paint in one direction, making sure all the paint stripes are going in the same way. Now, uh, once you finish that, give it about 10 minutes to dry and then you will go ahead and apply a second coat. So once you finish painting and everything is dry, go ahead and pick out your letters and then go ahead and get your toothpicks with your Gorilla Glue or your Elmer's Glue and unscrew the top. You want to dip it inside somewhere in the cavity, pick up a little bit of the glue, Take your letter and paint the glue onto the back of the letter with the toothpick. And then place it in the center or wherever you wish on your stars. Kind of like it. Of course I do. Uh, I do plan to hang this up in my room and have it as part of my background. And you know, this is really cute and simple that you can do with your kids or just for yourself to make yourself, I don't know. A little project to keep your mind off of things. My name is Raven. Please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out. I hope to come back with you guys, uh, to you guys, with some more DIY products. So there's been a lot of uh, talk of, about the election in the past few days, and I'm guilty myself of being maybe a little bit non-tolerant. So a quick little story, as I was doing this product, uh, project, uh, I was rinsing out my brushes in my little water cup, uh, and as the colors started mixing, they turned to something else. And when I saw it, I thought, oh my god, how serendipitous. So here's my extra little star, as my name only has five letters, and my star, and I had six stars, I made a little something to show my uh, support of solidarity for America as a whole. As red and blue make purple. So please guys, I say this just to, to maybe make a little bit of reparation to say that maybe Donald Trump will not be as bad as I believe. So also, 
work on my tongue pops. Martha Stewart girl, I'm coming for ya. <gasps>